G'day, folks. Well, we're going to weigh the beast. We're going to find out how heavy it is. I haven't done it in a little while. I've done a lot of changes since with the car. I've moved the turbo from rear mount into cabin mount. I've added an intercooler. Uh, I've re done some weight reduction. I've pulled the window wipers off and the motor. I've pulled the window winders for the doors. All that's been uh, stripped out. We've pulled the dash out of the car. All the heater assembly. There's a bit of weight in that too. That heater assembly with the core and all that sort of jazz. And um, I just want to get a, a little bit of an, an idea on how it's sort of fairing up. So uh, I'm excited. This is a caravan scale, guys. So you can buy these on eBay. I don't know the price off memory, but they're a great little thing for uh, for cars, trailers. I've worked out my uh, hitch weight off my trailer when the car's in it. Um, it's bloody fantastic. This one weighs uh, is capable up to 1,500 kilo. So uh, that's what we're going to use. I've sat all the four wheels up on um, flooring board, so it's around three quarter inch, and just so I can roll it onto the scale and off again, and it gives it a nice even uh, sort of platform to to use the scale. So I think it works really well. All right, let's get into it. All right, what I do is I just slip it in under the wheel here. Leave a nice little sort of gap so I can transition over it. This is a little bit higher here than the, the board, as you can see. A bit of a lip there. So it's a good way of doing it. Hope you can see that. Yep. Uh, I like to do it on this side. Just got used to doing it on this side with the um, little icon in there. I'll do it twice too, so just to get an average. Alright, roughly say 382 kilograms. Come back off. I like to turn it off and re redo it. Okay, let's go again. about 380 so we'll call it 381 on this side so I'll write that down 381 we'll go and do the other side so this is the front left okay well this is the right uh, the front right side I'm reading 376 kilo. It's a little bit lighter this side, not by much though. So 376. <laughs> You've already done this test. Yeah, I did. All right, let's do it again. <laughs> 375. We'll call it 376. So, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Alright, I've got that written down. Let's go and do the back. This is the right rear side now. So, we're looking at 309. 309 kilo. Alright. We'll do it again. Always like to double check. You just never know. Because this tends to vary a couple of kilo here and there. So three. Three oh seven. So we'll call it three oh eight. That's a nice figure. Like that. Three oh eight. I'll write that down. 
308. Okay, we'll do the left rear. All right, last wheel. Three oh seven. Turn him off, reset him. Three oh seven, that one was. Three oh seven, it is. So, roughly one kilo lighter this side from the other side. Three. Seven. Okay, let's uh, let's tally it up. All right. Well, I've done the math on it, added it all up. So it's thirteen hundred and seventy-two kilograms the car, which is pretty good. It's pretty good actually. It's gone up a little bit though, because I have <laughs> added a few little bits. It was around thirteen sixty. So I'm guessing. I'm guessing the intercooler and other little bits and bobs might have added to it. I've put that bigger ignition system on it and the rear wing and all oh, just a few other little tip bits on it. But that's still pretty good. So that's about 3,015, 20 pounds, roughly. But look at this. Look at the front to rear split, like the percentages. Sorry I mucked up there. It's got to be that way, the line, so... <laughs> For the purists, ignore that one. Uh, so we've got a 44.8 rear percent and 55.1. About that, just roughly, you know, it's very close. So that front to rear is awesome. And that comes down to moving that turbo uh, or keeping it sort of at the rear wheels, uh, pulling a lot of weight out of the front of it, which I have done with the um, aluminum radiator uh, putting the bonnet on a diet, I, that's only 15 kg that bonnet and it's an easy one to lift on and, on and off, being all steel, so that's great, very happy with it. So, and look at the uh, left to right, we're not talking a lot, it's only a kilo difference, but it's, you know, five or six kilo uh, split in the front, so that's really uh, awesome that, because before guys, I was um, nearly 30 kilograms heavier on the right side, so since moving the turbo and putting it sort of here in front of the diff, and that intercooler and other little bits and pieces, uh, gee, it's had an impact on it now. Gee, that's why it feels so good on the track, guys. You know, I don't get any understeer whatsoever in the front. I haven't found the limit of that yet, and uh, oh, it's, it's just amazing. I'm really happy with it. Obviously, like to get it down a little bit more, but be nice to get it down into the low 1300 kilo bracket but anyway we'll get it under 3000 pounds but um I'm, i've got little tricks up my sleeves and other little bits and pieces i'll think of as i go because i'm always thinking lightness <laughs> all right guys well that's just a quick one to let you know that uh, that's how heavy she weighs and that's how i do it all right folks i'll catch you later